What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of VST Thursdays on Tug TV. We've already done a couple of episodes. We looked at STL's Tonality Howard Benson plugin, uh, along with a couple of offerings from ML Sound Labs. In case you haven't seen that, it's linked in the description. Be sure to check it out. And of course, as part of this entire mini series, we wanted to focus on VSTs, which are both purchased as well as free. So today I'm going to be looking at a free ST and we're going to be taking a look at Blue Cat's free amp. If this is the first time you're on our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button along with the bell icon for more updates from us. Let's get into it. So this here is the link that, you know, you can go ahead and download uh, the free amp from. It is by Blue Cat Audio and available for Mac as well as Windows 32-bit, 64-bit. One thing I want to highlight is this is a properly free amp. So when I say free, I'm not saying freemium where it's got some restricted features or a free time trial basis, completely free. And what do you get are three amps. You've got clean, crunch and drive, which we will delve into to go ahead and look at. Pretty simple to set up. You just have to download whatever you want. So I got the 64 bits, hook it into your DAW and you're good to go. And this of course is what you would expect from a UI perspective. This is what it looks like. I of course have used the zoom and zoomed it up so that you can see what's going on over here. Uh, quite a simple and straightforward setup. You've got, you know, the bypass option. You've got a menu where you can also select some presets. Uh, you have an undo and redo. So in case you make some settings and you don't like it and want to revert, you can do that from here. A manual, which can come handy. Uh, apart from that, you have the knobs to go ahead and make your changes. You have two meters to let you know, you know, how high, uh, you know, you're going or are you clipping or any of that. You have the option to turn it off, although I don't really see why you would. This is where you'd select your three amps. So as mentioned, clean drive and a modern drive, which is essentially your brown sound. And finally, one great plus point here is it gives you the option to go ahead and load some of your own IR. So in case you have some custom IR cabinets you want to go ahead and load up. No problem. This will take it. Two things I don't see in this. Firstly, a tuner. But then again, that's not a big deal. It's a free VST. I don't expect much. And if you need to tune your guitar, you could just use one of these. Another thing I did not notice over here is a noise gate. And if you're going to be playing distortion or crunch, there is a good possibility that things can get noisy. Uh, so for the sake of this video, I am going to be using G gate. Now G gate again is a free VST. It's a free noise gate that you can download. I've linked it in the description. And with that, you can just set it up and you're good to go. All right, then guitars all set up. I am on a drop D flat tuning and we're here to check out the default clean channel. Definitely has a lot of definition in it. So whenever you can, you know, whenever I change the pickup selections, you can hear how different it is. Let's take a look at some presets. One thing I like going over here is that there's a wide variety of presets, which means if you kind of know what you're looking for, or in case you don't, you can select something from here as a template and then build on it. And then you've got your sound. I'm going to take a look at glassy. That's pretty nice. Uh, maybe a little bit high on the bass. I'll turn that down a little bit. Turn the tone down. Let's see what we get now. All right, pretty nice. Moving on to the default setting in drive. I'm gonna select bridge pickup. You can definitely hear that there is some crunch to it. Probably turn the drive up a little bit and see what we get. Oh, 
okay let's look at some of the presets so i've got classic drive crunchier this gets my interest gonna have to turn up that key it a little bit Alright, it's got some crunch to it, I'll probably tweak it a little bit, turn up the mids, give it a little bit more tone, turn down the bass, let's see how much more it has changed. <laughs> So I think one thing I've noticed here is the presets are very, very workable and you don't have to do an awful lot, uh, you know, to change your tone. There's very, very basic meddling you can do and it sort of immediately changes the characteristics of what you're hearing. Okay, then let's move into all things metal, going into modern drive 666 mids. Okay, uh, as the name suggests, it is a little mid heavy. Turn this down a little bit. Okay, that's that. What else do we have here? We have something called boosted lead. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I know it definitely needs work, which I've not done, but let's try out something else. What else do we have? What is V distortion? So what are some of my thoughts on Blue Cat's free amp? Firstly, it's a completely free amp. As mentioned earlier, it's not freemium and all of that. And considering that it gives you three amps for charging you nothing, it's a great deal. Uh, I also have to say that the presets, while they are not as defined and as ready to go as, for example, maybe like an ML Sound Labs amp roots, uh, it definitely is workable. So you've got some templates there. There is some work you'll have to do to get your patches in place. And once you do, I'm sure you can crack out some nice songs with them. I am more of a fan of the clean and sort of fuzz elements of this particular amp. That's probably how I would use it. I'd be interested to see what it sounds like, uh, you know, with single coils. So probably at the end of this, I'll play a piece with single coils and we'll see what we get. No tuner, no problem. I would have liked to see a noise gate, but it's not a deal breaker because you do get free noise gates, which you can go ahead and load up and then use the addition of an IR big plus point. So if you've got some of those, feel free to use it with that. Not to mention that this already has an inbuilt IR cabinet. So you're kind of sorted from that front as well. If you haven't already, definitely try out Blue Cat's Freeamp. It's a great BST and it definitely has scope to put out some great music. So those are my thoughts on it. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. Subscribe to our channel. And until next time, this is Tuck TV signing off. Check out this little piece. Give me a thumbs up.